straight to the dripping. Look what you've done with this here box. Oh, God, look. You, it's a disaster area, this, get Granville. You've made a right to dollop of Mrs Dudley's buns. Look at that. <laughs> no, to be fair, Mrs Dudley's buns were never much to write home about. Oh, God, you've got all the pepica lily mixed up with a chilli sauce, Granville. Oh, it's not my fault. How are we going to sell that? I mean, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it a pick a chili or a chili lily. <laughs> Get your clock, will you? Go on. You are a right pepper pillock, Granville. Well, it's not my fault. What would you do if you had some lunatic grocer leaping out at you shouting burglars? <laughs> it wasn't just burglars, mind you. It's far more sinister than that. You actually shouted. Bebear burglars! <laughs> <laughs> this terrifying image of these great big fellas running at me wearing nothing but masks. <laughs> if that's not enough to make you drop your pickle lily, I don't know what is. <laughs> I meant their burglars is the answer. The only way I'm going to get into Nurse Gladys's bedroom is when I am on my bear burglar patrol. <laughs> burglar patrol? She's never going to fall for that. No, no, I'm a perfectly genuine. I'm going to make this a neighbourhood safe for state-registered nurses to have flourish in. Oh, she'd be better off with the burglars. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very careless about her own personal safety. Why, in the course of her and her nursely duties, she has to go into dark places, the very thought of which makes your hair stand on end. Well, on uh, both ends. <laughs> Are you listening to me, Granville? We're going to make her security conscious. <laughs> oh, ha -ha. What are we going to do? We're going to make her more say, security conscious. That's a good lad. Oh. We're going to teach her to get her to lean upon her fiancé during the hours of the darkness. Yeah. And we're going to get a new till. You drive a hard Hungarian bargain, you do. <laughs> I wish you were more like your mother. She never used to ch charge for anything. <laughs> Don't start dragging my mother into this. Why not? She was always there being dragged into things. <laughs> Bushes, mainly. <laughs> One multifunction pre programmed electronic tamper proof till with printout facility. Wowie, wow, wow. Yeah. Uh, yes, you just take this. Huh? Oh, there right. We go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. Hi. <laughs> Getting a slightly cheaper model. You do surprise me. <laughs> oh, nurse gay Gladys Emmanuel. You've got a wonderful knees. Naturally, my thoughts are above such things. <laughs> two of the pink tablets three times a day. Have you locked your front door? I always lock my front door. Nigga, you can't be too careful. That's one of the first things I learned on becoming engaged to an overactive grocer. <laughs> I hope you've got a good security chain. No, but I've got very strong elastic. <laughs> On your front door? On everything. <laughs> People are much too casual about the risk of burglary in this, this neighbourhood, Granville. We've got to raise their level of awareness. Oh, aye, that's great. There he goes, that Granville. He really raises your level of awareness. <laughs> We've got to alert people to the perils of being robbed. Listen, if people have been coming in here on a regular basis, they're already alert to the perils of being robbed. <laughs> Think 
leg of the service to the community, Granville. All right. How are we going to do it? I'll show you how. First of all, we've got to create the feeling of the day. Don't worry, Mrs. Featherstone. Step inside. Oh, 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 oh,
He likes his snuff. Yes, not quite enough to have the, a full ounce, apparently. <laughs> Half an ounce is quite enough. Yes. He gets it all over the damn place. The cat gets more than he does. <laughs> he tried to watch a bit of television. There's him and the damn cat sneezing. <laughs> One at you 